Hello everyone, this is Inayat Mir with my Active Directory Migration Tool, project video number 5. Let's take a look what we have done so far in previous 4 videos. This is a Word document that explains and you will see this document in every single video. Whatever was done, you will see that done already. Whatever I am doing, I am pointing out that what will be done in this video. You also will see my pop-ups within this video. So in case if you do not have an audio, you can watch this video by enabling uh, titles or you can see small inputs from my side for those who do not have audio for the moment. So this is a video number five. I have SQL Express instance. Previously I had ADMT instance. I have removed that and decided to keep a straight default SQL instance. This is ADMT Active Directory Migration Tool version 3.2 installation. So I am going to give you a very brief installation glance. So you can look this at a glance. So because this was done in video number 4 but I am adding this into video number 5 I have nothing to import so I will just create ADMT database in my SQL server. Now my Active Directory migration tool has been installed. You will see I am browsing between my source domain and my target domain. So that is how your Active Directory migration tool looks like. You simply right click on Active Directory Migration Tool and see a lot of options. We will use a couple of options such as migrating users, migrating computers, migrating groups, migrating a service account. We will tag service accounts and then we will migrate servers. We will migrate users uh, profile and, and profiles of several users. Under services, you will see my SQL Express instance is up and running because my target server is a domain controller and also this is my uh, target server which is also a SQL. I installed SQL Express uh, for ADMT 3.2 because uh, it was required. So you have to watch previous four videos where you will see everything was done a step by step and I hope that everything was so simple. You have to also create ADMT key. So this is a uh, key.pes at target. So you will create running this command this key at target domain save it in a secure location. So I am sending this to my root drive local drive or C as in Charlie C drive at my target because when I install password export DLL tool at source I would browse here to get this PES. So it is very important point that you have to know this one. So this is my Hyper-V environment where you can see my source DC and you can see my target DC. This is my source DC. Host name is source. Domain is source.com. NetBIOS name is source NY. From source, I am going to access my target server which is also a kind of a file server. I have there a shared folder where I saved my ADMT SQL Express, also my password export utility. So these DLL I'm installing now. So you will notice that during the installation, I will browse to my target domain where I saved PES key seconds ago. So you just simply browse to target and also to my root drive. Here is my key from the target. Now you need to provide password as well.
and retype password just for confirmation we are able to now install password migration dynamic link libraries i also want to have a service account here from my source domain so i am going to add my source ny as a netbios name as an administrator and my administrator's password So this service or these DLLs gonna run as an administrator. After that, it is required to reboot your server. So this is done now. Because I am running video five, I am pointing out here done in video five. The bottom shows you that I have provisioned five thousand users through PowerShell. So you might wanna watch. these steps also in video number 2 i believe so now we have source domain now we have target domain and just for your review i am adding these notes within my video so you can review again i assume that everybody may not have audio so you can simply read it so i am going to create a test user just for a test migration because now i have everything ready i can migrate my test account with password or if i'm going to make a group here so also if you have a group that basically your member is a group uh, your your account user account is a member of that group you will be able to migrate that group within that user so here this is a simple group uh, this is a domain local group which is a requirement at source so i am adding here a note as well so this is a this this group should not have any member but if you make test one member of any other group their group will be migrated with test account migration so this is a registry modification so i am going to add a detail in my notepad or in my word document where you will see that why we need this because this uh, is depending on the version of operating system you are using so this modification has to be on a pdc pdc emulator for that you have to note that which server is a pdc emulator or which server is holding a fismo role of pdc emulator uh, you can also uh, gui way you can also look at that which server is a pdc emulator i would use net dom command so net dom space query space f s m o you will see the result out key here i am going to have this d word value and value has to be set for tcp ip client support uh it is a, or is supposed to be one you enable that key and also you going to have two more changes uh, we have to configure group policy uh at target domain for auditing purposes you have to enable auditing there and you have to do the same thing at source domain so that will be uh, the next step so you have to configure as well so here you have to go to domain controllers not to domain so default domain controllers policy you have to edit that you have to go to policies windows settings security settings i gonna browse here you will see that just note these steps you have to do these steps at target also you have to do these steps as as an as an as an domain admin or enterprise admin at source as well so under security setting you will look at here your account policies your local policies event log so you have to configure your audit policies under uh, under your local policies 
audit account management check the box define these policies success and failure click on ok we are done here if you want to see the changes you have to go under this policy and click on a settings tab let me show you that so default domain controllers policy and click on your settings tab and show security settings and local policies audit policy show that one and that will tell you you configured this this policy for success and failure now i am moving from my hyper v to my source domain because this was my target now this is my source domain The account you use to log in must be a domain admin or enterprise admin. ADMT is a part of domain admins group. So I can use this account or directly I can use my administrator account. So I am going into my group policy. You can scroll down. Uh, I want to fit a, a certain uh, size so that's why i had to go scroll up and scroll down uh, because of some video quality and some other requirements and some other reasons this is exactly what i have done in my target domain you go under your default domain controllers policy policies windows settings security settings here you have to look at your local policies and under that you see audit policy, audit account management, success and failure. So I am showing you here that in my next video, I am going to create a two-way transitive trust between my source domain and target domains. That is a required field. I will tell you a reason. In a second, actually, I will go and show you from my Active Directory. So why do we need this two-way transitive trust? Because we want to see both domains in Active Directory or at resource permission type or at any time. We need to first configure a condition forwarders. These are the OUs which I was showing you at my target where i am going to migrate users but currently if i want to go to add any member from my source domain at target or at target or at source from target i would not see actually uh, the whole forest i will see only target.com domain the reason is that i do not have a true transitive trust and if you click on add and click on location under location i supposed to see a target.com domain and source.com i cannot see until i establish a trust which will be my next task in my next video i will can add condition forwarders at eat at eat and each end i'm sorry and i will actually uh, then uh, set up a two transitive trust from my active directory domain and trust console from my source domain and this is the task which has been completed so i am pointing out that i am going to come in my next video which will be video number six we will do very important task in that video, which is a two-way transitive trust. I will also demo this test user, which I have created. Uh, I will migrate this user actually from source to target. I will in fact add a new group uh, in my source. I will add a test user into the group and I will migrate user and you will see that user is um, uh, has been migrated with the group as well that's mean if a user has 20 uh, membership in 20 groups and actually one user can add 20 groups so i hope you will like this video thank you bye